Hello everyone. Welcome to the flag end of the program of Godwin Soft Skills. So today is our final day. Whatever ends us to, uh, you know, start with new energy and whatever begins also has to end. So it is just a bend and not an end. We all are wanting to be uh, lifelong uh, friends, uh, promoting online uh, skills, skill development, uh, personality development, making people good to great. So this is our journey and all of us are together in this in one way or the other. So today we are doing the unstoppable, the last chapter. The chapter is about me. It is real. I wrote it seven years ago and that was me seven years ago. That is that is my then and this is my now. So let us go to the topic unstoppable. So before that, uh, we just had a session where uh, we were, uh, you know, uh, talking about what are the three things that you consciously won't do. And we also saw 10 things what a leader will not do. So uh, the, the flag end of the program also, uh, when we wanted to know what is that we shouldn't be doing. We all know what to be doing, but what is that we shouldn't be doing? Whenever I ask my dad, how do we save time? He would always say, instead of knowing what you have to do, you should also know what you don't have to do. So his mom was always telling him, you don't have to smoke, you don't have to drink to show you are a man. To show you are a man, you should be very loving to your family. So that's how she had brought him up in an environment where all of them were uh, drunkards. My dad was a sober. So, um, you know, this gives you a feeling that, um, you know, in a pond where the pond is muddy, dirty, a lot of lotus booms and it remains with its own, uh, you know, bigger. So that's what it is. So I'm so glad and let us, um, you know, go to the next uh, thing of being unstoppable, please take chapter 10 in the book, Bill. Hi there. Hi, hi. Welcome back. Hi, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Rukshana, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, all of you. Welcome. So yes. it's, it's 163. Page 163. Page 163. Wait, ma'am. Page 163. Did you send it just now, ma'am? You want me to send? I can send you. Yes, please send, ma'am. One sixty three. Um, wait, huh? Oh, yeah. Where is the uh, reader? Reader, what is this? Which one sixty three? What is this? Oh. 
I received ma'am. I'm sending ma'am. I'm sending. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Waiting. I'm. Okay. Yeah. So this much I'll send now. So let's do this much first. And okay. Then we'll do. Okay. Got it, ma'am. Hundred and page hundred and thirty. You got it. Yes, hundred page hundred and thirty. One three zero. Ah, you know what? This new uh, revised book it says one sixty three. But anyways, I'm sending you the uh, screenshots. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. Yes. One. Thirty. Hold on. So let's go. Yes, that. Uh, Chapter is given by Nisma. Thank you so much, love. Hundred and fifty-two. Yeah, hundred and sixty-five, sixty-four. So you guys got right. that? Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, superb. So, uh, let uh, Ruxana go first today. Start yes. with the chapter now, the unstoppable. One. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible, and you have a beautiful hair. God bless you. You know, <laughs> nazar lagta hai. Because it's always, because it's always in a scarf. No, I don't get to see her hair, and that looks so huge and big and nice. So all nazar, <laughs> lila pink. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, a very good evening. <laughs> Becoming unstoppable. <laughs> Learning is. continuous process be prepared to learn mm -hmm. unlearn and relearn i think this was the first uh, chapter when we had started the class i remember making notes for this my name is dr r uh, sorry h c r vijay saraswati mother teresa sat bhavana award winning life coach ceo and co founder of godwin academy and iso 9001 Two zero zero eight certified institution in association with Shine Mart Kids Singapore. Author of the book Will you are reading now. This is my first book. Now it's a, on. It is an amazing bestseller. Wow. I have also authored two other books named Happiness and You and Love. Learn and leverage. being the president at we girls ngo managing director of hope with international business academy and honorary registrar national virtual university for peace and education i add value to learning and development industries my business niche is, is memory development and social niche in suicide suicide awareness prevention program I was born in a middle class family in South India. My dad was the sole breadwinner and we are five siblings. Right from my early childhood I was fascinated by class life. One day I asked my dad if we are rich we will become classy, right dad? He smiled and said, "No sweetheart, you will you will become classy only if you are wise and wealthy." to become wise you must be a lifelong learner you go to school and get educated but to become classy you must be knowledgeable kind and compassionate thank you thank you that's the that's uh, the you know uh, first 
uh, encounter for being a classy woman. I always used to uh, dream of being a queen, being a classy woman, being uh, respected, being loved, because all that I was lacking when I was born. And then that was, uh, you know, a kind of mirror. You, I always tell people, if you're not getting what you want, you have to re reflect on what will make you get that. It's just the opposite. You don't have to search for the answers. Yes. It's just the opposite. So my dad was always there to be a classy woman. You should be educated, lifelong learner. That's what he used to say. So from there, I want uh, Asli to con uh, continue the reading. Over to Asli. Of course. It is so beautiful and I like to call me the sex of Korea. Sorry. He says that I saw people with the dress. With no dress, I saw dresses with no man. Do you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Now I can, okay. So I asked, how do I become that? He smiled divinely again and said, keep learning. Learning is a continuous process. Be prepared to learn, unlearn, relearn. That's why Mahatma Gandhi said, live as though you are going to die tomorrow. Learn as, die, as though you are going to live forever. This was the first day for the rest of my life to have a mission statement, a mission to have a purposeful life. In fact, the purpose of my life became to make it purposeful. I am at fabulous 40 now, but in real sense, I never discontinued college. I completed my three years diploma in business administration from GRCIBM college, the college where I studied later, I thought. I pursued my BCom followed by MCom. I stood fifth rank for the state of Karnataka, Magna Sagantotri, Mysore. I completed my MBA human relations with 4.5 grades on scale of five from Indira Gandhi National Open University. I did my postgraduate diploma in marketing management. I got distinction in diploma in computer applications. This helped me join Accenture as a senior consultant for tax process called Cardinal. Joining the corporate world gave me the liberty to have the weekend off. My husband being a biker and used to handle bike modifications and services would be very busy in the weekend. So I invested all my weekends with my five-year-old son in learning abacus, Vedic math, calligraphy, memory skills, and computers. I got an amazing opportunity to be a team coach at Infosys. I moved to Infosys and started coaching and front and front employees. In fact, I helped them in transition from college to corporate. Life was beautiful because I was doing what I love and doing what I do, coaching. Change before change changes you. Accept life like a pair of walking legs. The foot forward has no pride and the foot behind has no shame. Both know the situation will change. Change is inevitable. Change is the only constant thing in the world and the rest all are vari variable. If we are not constantly creating, innovating, developing and improving, we feel even we do nothing wrong. We know how Nokia and Kodak fail for no fault of theirs. The change attribute can be learned from a river. Adjust, adjust yourself in every situation and in any shape, but most importantly, find your own way to flow. The river does not touch the same water twice. Consider every life experience a treasure. It was year 2007 at Infosys. I was enjoying this flow called coaching. This is when I realized my ultimate love is inspiring people. I witnessed my power to influence people, to bring in the best of them. I was really proud of myself, my job and life. This is when I got a letter from the management, management which transformed my whole thought process. The management wrote that my salary will be slashed by 30% and I need to be on the bench due to recession. My first reaction was, 
it will not be you who decide my words but me. Second, my coaching is my passion. I can sit in a bench like a vegetable without inspiring people. Hence, I took a sabbatical from Infosys and started Godwin Academy. A valuable... Thank you, event. thank you, Atli. I thank, thank you, Dr. Yeah, over to Nisma. So I took a sabbatical and started Godwin Academy. Where so I'm much. still doing the online classes. Can't sit like a vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, over to Nisma. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I took a sabbatical from Enforces and started Godwin Academy, a valuable lifetime skills uh, training and coaching company. The transition from being an employee to employer was never easy. After working for seven years, uh, struggling different roles as an Abacus teacher, Vedic math facilitator, uh, course instructor for memory programs, being an inspirational speaker at uh, various forums and events. Trained employees at reputed corporate and students at esteemed institution did not know how to scale up. The mission statement I had was empowering education excellence for uh, entire earth through innovative and creative teaching. But how will I do that? Absolutely no idea. Your network is your net worth. So in the year 2015, as I walked into um, IWFCI Summit, India launched at Hotel Ashok Lalit, Bangalore. I had no great expectations. As an upcoming entrepreneur without any clear vision to scale up, but wanting to make a mark on overseas project, I had no idea where to start, whom to approach, and how to take it forward. Later, I realized this IWFCI Summit was a boon. During the summit, there were various keynote speakers who shared their in-depth knowledge and expertise on various topics like leadership, technology, government, policies, etc. The IWFCI India Summit turned out to be a knowledge treasure and I was enjoying the entire learning. The summit had gathered dignitaries uh, from various parts of the world and one keynote speaker, Mrs. Aziza Jalaluddin from Singapore, who spoke about the importance of girl education and steps we need to adapt to empower women caught by attention. She said the government has to allocate a lot of budget for educating girls and empowering them to be independent. During the question and answer round, I answered the ground reality in India, which is different. I said, here the girls get gift from the government when they get married or give birth to a child. I mentioned education in India is still not that lucky. This instantaneously stuck a cord between us and we exchanged business cards during the break. Mrs. Aziza Jalaluddin's business development manager, Mr. Prasanna called me after two days and informed me that there is a Shine Business Makeover program. It is a one day program which will bring focus and clarity in a way we do business. I attended this one day program and further got clarified how one design signature project and Shine ADA mentors, Dr. Ramesh Nambiar and Sister Aziza were my pillar of strength. They encouraged me to attend Money and You, an accelerated business school program, an experiential learning program, which is running successfully for the last 40 years and which has produced millionaires like Robert T. Kiyos Kiyosaki, Jack Canfield, Blair Singer, Anthony Robbins, Andrew Barron, uh, Dominic Leon, and many more. In fact, Sister Aziza went a step ahead and gifted me that uh, the program. After attending the accelerated business school program, my life changed for better once I did the Money and New program. The owner and CEO of this program is the one who uh, realized my book at Chennai, India. I have made it a point to revisit learning whenever possible. I supported in the logistic team in Malaysia in October 2016 and in April and October 2017. I reviewed the program along with my husband. I ensured my husband and my office team also attended Money and You program for greater understanding and alignment. Believe me, the power of training is awesome. I realized the power of training when we got the true purpose of our business. Hire a mentor. Now, the learning is acquired what next? The challenges of knowing were solved. What about doing? Knowing without doing is equal 
to not knowing. I hired the most marvelous men mentor who not only guided me step by step, but also who was there for me at each and every step. First and foremost, my mentor, Dr. Ramesh Nambiar, asked me to create a vision board with uh, specifics. He assured me the journey is not going to be easy, but definitely it is going to be worthy. Our week-on-week -week Skype classes turned out to be the most interesting thing in our lives. Accountability brought in clarity of thoughts. Right thoughts prompted right actions. And after two weeks of Skype, the third week, he asked me to circle three important things in my vision board for the year 2015 to 2016, which I really wanted to achieve. First, I marked, I want to be a renowned author. I want to take my signature program, memory enhancement skills and early childhood education to global market. I want to ace the Lempa book of world records and uh, Guinness book of world records in my memory series. He asked me, what is the time frame you want to give uh, for yourself to achieve this goal? I said, three years. My mentor, Dr. Ramesh Nambiar said, one thing at a time. Take one idea and live all the other ideas alone. Eat it, drink it, sleep it, make it your second nature. Fill that goal in your subconscious mind and do what it takes. Do not chase two ducks at the same time. You won't get any. I said, I think I'm very prepared for memory signature program, then the book. I think I will change the order of things. For which he replied, look, positioning is very important. As an author, you will be able to position right in the global market. So take what it what is challenging first and complete it. It will give you enthusiasm and energy to do more. Sister Aziza Jalaluddin, who was listening to our conversation, said you can apply for Memory Skills Award through IBF, which is happening in October 2016 at Singapore. I said, I want to scale up, but don't have those great resources to travel and receive the award. I said, it is difficult for me to pay bills and salaries because all my investments and uh, budgeted for research, um, learning and development in mind and memory skills. Sister Aziza enc encouraged me to ask for sponsorship from any one of my uh, clients. I chose Workout Foundation and asked for support. The CEO of Workout Foundation not only sponsored my ticket, but also signed a non-disclosure agreement in association with uh, KIESIE University, South Korea, of developing an online memory program. I received Workout Memory Skills IBF Award for cracking three-digit number along with a uh, two-digit adjective in it. I take numbers one to thousand from the audience, add adjective to it, and give it back in a jiffy. My memory filing technique is pending joint patient, Workout Foundation, and I with the government of India. Dr. Nambiar asked me to hire a mentor for book writing. I signed up Jyotsna uh, Ramachandran, the CEO of uh, Happy Publishing, for my first book. She is an awesome mentor. I told her I have written down all my ideas and I am still feeling my book is not perfect. I will write some more. She asked me how much you wrote. I said around 30,000 words. Her first advice to me was to stop writing and start publishing. She and her team supported me to edit, design, uh, design the cover, buy ISBN and as well as print the book. Thank you, Jyotsna and team. My will was possible because of her um, able guidance and support. Now this is the revised ed ed edition with chapter 10 and Will is now Amazon bestseller. I also received Women Empowerment Award from Her Highness Rani, um, from Rani Pramada Devi Wadiyar, the Queen of Mysore. The second book, Happiness and You, uh, was easy because I know the flow. Now I am releasing my third book, Love, Learn and Leverage, slated for release on April 20th, uh, Friday, 2018. The foreword is written by the mentor of Mentors Dynamic, Dane DC uh, Cordova. Investing on a mentor is the wisest decision I have ever taken. Now I know uh, my Guinness World Record is an achievable dream. You are your own limits. Like a French saying goes, you are your limits. Whenever your brain can believe and conceive, it can achieve. I have set a high goal to achieve a Guinness record and I know I can because I believe I can. 
I uh, um, sorry, chance favors the prepared. This year, Godwin Academy uh, India, my child brain is inspired to start an early childhood uh, program, Shine Smart Kids, exclusive for zero to six years, which is my area of expertise uh, for the last 21 years. Godwin Academy also wants to offer Dr. Vijaya's uh, dynamic mind and memory program at special fee to global market. This program is uh, offered on collaborative mode model and it has the highest level of return on investment. A spectacular signature uh, uh, meditation program is designed Unity Gong. In the next decade, Shine Smart Kids and Dr. Vijaya's dynamic mind and memory program will have made a phenomenal growth and touched many million lives in terms of innovative education, income generation and inspiring individual business and life i appreciate your patience and perseverance i know we may not win immediately but i promise we will win definitely thanks a ton for all the love support and guidance i am indebted to for life for all the things you do for me unasked thanks for inspiring me to participate in rumble entrepreneurs rumble uh, believe and youtube today my video on self mastery and godwin academy has more than um 1000 views and 5000 likes in facebook in less than a month thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you uh see life doesn't go the way you want it to go right uh we invested a lot of money in singapore we wanted to start shine uh, smart kids we wanted to do so much so that uh, we spent and we went there and did all that but, um, you know, life had different plans. Uh, Dr. Ramesh Nambiar um, lost his life for a massive heart attack. Oh. And uh, he lost. Yes. I lost a good mentor. I lost my money. I lost his company was doomed. And uh, I was back to zero. You know, like uh, couldn't do dynamic mind and memory. And uh, 2016, my mom also passed away for cancer. So people thought, uh, I'm very close to my mom. So people thought, okay, she's finished. You know what is finished, right? But um, like I always remember what my mentor says, take one idea, eat that idea, sleep that idea, be that idea and leave all the other ideas alone. So I told, now I need peace. I will not be able to do uh, memory as of now because uh, you know three years we had uh, we had signed up Shine and uh, suddenly Shine was gone and uh, we didn't know what to do and the money what we invested was gone and uh, I didn't know where or what to do so I thought uh, like you know my uh, mem uh, my uh, accelerated business school mentor uh, you can uh, Google Bucky uh, I mean Buckminster Fuller. He died in the year 1983. His ideas are the ones which is there as accelerated business school. I'll be sharing that business model with you all today. So what he says is, if you if an idea doesn't work, what you have to do is leave that idea alone. To make something new, brand new, you have to build something new so that the old model by itself becomes obsolete. So you don't have to do any renovation with the old model. All that you have to do is build new in, in front of it. So this idea was there and then uh, Lima Agreement came. I was working as a registrar with the National University. Then I said, I will take, uh, I will go to Australia to do my uh, uh, professional counseling. So I needed a break because I was completely broken and I didn't know what to do. And I, I, had, I lacked the clarity. So as a break, I went to Australia to do uh, psychology and counseling. So there I found mentors who told, like, why are you doing things for others when you have the capability of doing it all by yourself? So because I didn't have uh, certain rights, when statutory rights when I was doing for others as a registrar. So I started up as a registrar in my own uh, you know, venture and we all came up with the plan and then 2018 we bought a St. Mother Teresa University and we brought it to India. So from 18 to 19, the first program was March 16th. I still remember Roxana being there. March 16th, James Care came all the way from Australia 
and um, we started with a bang. So 2018, March said there is no stop. Like every um, every month we do a conference because um, uh, according to uh, Accelerated Business School, you should know your four foot game. What is your four foot game? You have to do what you're good at. When you do what you're good at, you are the most amazing person. You love your life. You live the life you love and live love the life you live. So I love conferences, summits, congregations, panel discussions. I love honoring people. I take the best out of best. I get the best out of uh, best profile and honor them. Gem of India. I honor them daily. Honorary doctorate. I keep doing this. People ask me, how do you do it? You know, where do you find people? Honestly telling, I don't do anything. The divinity in me, both through the divinity in you, I am not flaunting. God always sends the right people in my life. Every time, every time, all the time, it is Almighty's total surrender. See, tomorrow I have a conference in Bangalore. I'm sitting happily in my native still because I know everything will go smoothly because he is there. That's not overconfidence. I do my hard work. I do all that what is required, you know, the logistics, the reviews, the work and all that. But sending people on honoring unsung heroes is not my job. It is Almighty's job. He ensures these are the people who get honored. Like Kalyanam, he doesn't go to anybody's, uh, you know, program. The man of the millennium, the one who donated 30 crores to uh, orphanages for education. But when we call, he comes for a program, he knows that we won't commercialize anything of us. So uh, most of them who come to our program know that we don't have any hidden agendas. So that, that's why God has always been kind enough to me that we were able to scale up Mother Teresa. To this extent, we have created visibility, credibility and profitability because of our deservability. So this all happened because of mentors, because I ensured that I had, I had a good mentor. I made learning a continuous process. I realized we are our own limits. We can scale up if we really want to. So all these points actually helped me to be unstoppable, unbreakable, and unshakable. So it is you. Nobody will come to your rescue. You are your own rescue. If you're thinking somebody is coming, let me tell you nobody is coming. It's you. So be unstoppable. Go check out your online class. See what you can do. Impact people. Take that action. Be that person who you want to be. So this 10 days class is... Uh, you know, propagating only this to you. Improve your health, improve your wealth, improve your happiness, improve your peace, improve your relationships, improve your experiences, in improve your finances, improve your fitness, improve your fun. All this, this is very required in life. So don't live it. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So ensure that you are one whom I can, you know, uh, flaunt to be a star. You know, that's how I want to want you guys to do. You all. Master trainers and we can do something. Now. So let's, let's do it. Uh, let's be unstoppable. Let's become authors. Let's become facilitators. Let's become scholars. Let's become each other's accountability partners. Let's become each other's partners. So the yes. more we are together, the better we become. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes. I would like to complete my program by saying, sorry, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. I love you. Thank you. Yes. God bless you. Each one of you are a gem here. You will be certified. Be honored. Uh, be privileged to start this course for someone else. You don't even have to tell that it is from my book, Will. You can use my chapters. You can use my studies. You can use my notes. You can do what it takes, okay. but become something. Start somewhere. When is the next good time to do it? It's now. Just do it. Just start okay. something. Even if you're doing it free, it's okay. <laughs> do it. Yes, do yes. It for them. Five days class, or two days class, or three days class. So the more you do, the more uh, you know. Practice you do, the more you will uh, you will be. Uh, uh, you know, spontaneous, you can, you can get to do it. I want to see each one of you as a trainer, facilitator, scholar, mentor, consultant, counselor. So uh, we all have this capabilities. Just see what is that you're good at and keep doing the four foot game. 
because that's what i believe brought me where i am my four foot game is very simple enjoy food with family travel eat do conferences stay in five star hotels go to big big conferences if i either i'm doing a conference or attending a conference that's all felicitates me i love to live a queen life so don't uh, make yourself vulnerable and believe that you are dispensable don't say i have a home i can't go outside when god takes you away you definitely your home will find some alternative mm-hmm. so you are not indispensable in this world don't have that feeling mere bina mere bacche kya karenge mere bina mere husband kya karenge mere bina duniya kya karegi all will work perfect without you okay you are okay. indispensable if you think okay god is very clear anybody anytime utha dega lift kara dega so he will <laughs> open the door and take them away and that's it it's over it's all done it's a temporary time 